Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you the ultimate color blending trick. I'm going to show you five steps and if you follow those five steps you will be able to color match any color. Let's get started. One of my most popular questions or requests that I get in my email come from people who send me photographs and ask me to color match something in the photograph because they want to draw a picture of a little girl but they want to use their granddaughter's hair color or they want to uh, draw a landscape and they need a particular background color. First, the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need your color wheel. This is a very specific color wheel. I will leave a link to it in the description. It's not that expensive. It is the only color wheel you will ever need if you're working with color pencils. You're going to need a blending pencil. It doesn't matter whether it's Derwent or Prismacolor. I have them all. I use them just by grabbing. I don't, I don't even look at the brand. And today we just happen to be working with my Derwent. This is different than a burnisher. Do not use a burnish pencil. This is a blending pencil. You're going to need a piece of paper and any object you choose in this world. I just happen to pick my hair scrunchie. You can pick anything. We are going to match this color perfectly. The first thing you're going to do is determine your undertone and that goes for the object and for your pencil. So here I have my object. I'm going to get out my color wheel and I'm going to, I'm going to figure out the undertone. Obviously it is a red, but is it a violet red? Is it a uh, orange red? It does not match with the orange. It matches with the red. You can check the other side because I see pink in this and you can get your undertone, the one it matches with the best. I'm kind of looking in my camera and it looks a little bit more red in the camera than it does in person. It's a little bit more on the uh, pinker side and it's leaning towards the violet. Okay, so now we have... I happen to be using Starjoy pencils. You can use any brand of pencils you like. The first color I'm going to test is going to be the red pink, and that's 1R. If you're not using the Starjoy set, go to your pinks, go to your reds. Put the color down and match it up. You could tell from the difference that these are the same hue. This is a little brighter than this. This is a little darker. That's okay. Not a problem. If you don't pick that one, you can start with doesn't matter. Same trick. It's going to work both ways. And this is vanity pink. So you're going to try to match up the closest pencil that you have to this color. And you do that by putting it next to each other. It can be darker. It could be lighter. Just get the same hue. We're going to work with the red pink and this is rose red pink put down your first layer the next step that we're going to do is we're going to match the tone the tone is how bright this color is okay this is darker than this it's obvious so we're going to darken the pink and we can do that in two different ways you can use a gray pencil. That's fine too. With reds, you can use a blue gray. If you're not using your gray pencils, you can add a little, get this, green to it. Now watch what happens when I add a little bit of green. In the Starjoy set, it will tell you that it is 58J and that is green. If you're using any other pencil set, you're going to get your middle green color. I want to darken this pink up with this. So what the next thing we're going to do is we're going to neutralize it. 
neutralizing a color is adding the opposite color on the color wheel. For red, that would be green. You're adding a secondary color to this and I'm going to go very, very lightly over this color. I don't want to destroy the pink. I just want to neutralize or darken the color. Look what's starting to happen to it. It's becoming darker. You're bringing that color to neutral. After that, I'm going to go back to my original pink and I'm going to smooth it out. So we're sandwiching that neutralizing color in between. My next layer, I'm using medium pressure and I'm evaluating the color tone. The color tone is almost matched. The next thing, I'm going to even up the color. I'm gonna take my blending pencil very lightly. You don't wanna take a blending pencil and scratch your surface with it. That's not what a blending pencil does. When you do that, you tap your tooth down and you're gonna destroy any sort of tooth that you would be using for other layers. I'm gonna take this, I'm going to lightly in circles, go over it. You will feel the difference. Practice it, scratch it, and then do that light shade. You will feel the difference. You will feel yourself skimming over the surface. Once that pencil is blended up, you'll do your last layer and you're gonna smooth things out because the blending pencil may leave a white film on your picture and you don't want that. You want your brightest color. So you take that and now you're burnishing it and you've just matched that color. It works best. This is an oil pencil, so it's a little harder to do. If you're working with Prismacolor, it becomes like making cake batter. Very easy. Now let's do the same we'll thing, a we'll different it. set. I'm gonna use my Prismacolor set. This is a process red and I already know my undertone is the same and I'm gonna go over to test my color and this is darker than that color perfectly fine let's get out a green I'm gonna get out the middle green in Prismacolor and that's true green take my hand go to the back of the pencil I'm going to neutralize this it's gonna automatically go darker don't destroy the pink by going too heavy with the green. My neutralizing color is on there. I'm going to go back to my original color. I'm going to get another layer on there so that that neutralizing color is in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to take my blending pencil and I'm going to make batter out of it. Lightly going over those two colors so that they blend together smoothly. Okay, now I'm looking at it and I'm going, well, it's the same tone, but it's not the exact color. And as I'm looking at it, I'm saying this looks a little bit more red. Go back to my colors, get out a red. I'm going to choose, I think, magenta. We're getting closer. I want it a little darker, a little redder. Get out a red, another red pencil. Okay, I'm going to get out a crimson red. I'm going to try crimson red. There we have an exact match. Let's try a different object. So we're going to try a really hard one. And if my beginners are not following what I'm doing, I do cover this information on my beginners channel. The card is in the upper right hand corner. If you are a beginner and these color blends are going straight over your head, that's where you belong. And I do lessons at your level. This is advanced color blending. So this may be very hard for you. We're going to do one last one. And this one is harder than you think. This is a paint swatch and it's from a Home Depot bear and it's called Undersea. Now I'm going to switch up my pencils to Prismacolor for no particular reason, except why not? I'm looking at this color and I can already see that it hails from gray. 
but what type of gray is it? I'm going to get out my color wheel and you can easily see it's a green blue, but it goes all the way to the dark side. It's barely a blue. It's barely a green. It kind of sits right in between. I'm going to get out my first pencil and it's going to be cool gray, 90%. I hope my lighting will show it, but this is clearly darker and more on the gray side than this. I have to add something to this. It's a green blue, so I want to get blue into there and I want to keep it dark. So I'm trying my indigo blue and I'm going to put indigo blue in the middle. Not quite, not as dark, so we got to keep going. Remember, the next step is to match the tone. This is darker than this, so I have to keep going with this. I'm going to now add in a peacock green because a peacock green is a blue green. So I'm going to add in, and now I want to see what it is blended up. Get out my blending pencil, go very lightly, and now I'm going to add a tiny bit more of the gray because we always smooth it up as the next step it's a balancing act until you get it right and that's probably the closest I'm gonna get I'm gonna add in a touch of white and a little bit more gray and we got it about as close as anybody's gonna get I will put this into the community tab it is the exact steps. Determine the undertone, match the tone. Matching the tone, is it lighter or darker? Neutralize its brightness. If it's too bright, go with the opposite color on the color wheel, light layer. Even up the color, that means use your, your blending pencil and then smooth it out your top layer. Get rid of any evidence of your color blender and you've got a definite color match. Any questions, put them in the comments section, and I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys.